Hello again and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is fantastic having you here today, either live or on the replay. As you can see, I have a bunch of cards in front of me. That is just a small sampling of what I have. The plan is to do a live baseball card team lot sale. Uh, if that does not work out, I also have some packs of things that I can open up and a little bit of unboxing mail day type stuff. So if you're watching live or on the replay, I do want to say thank you for joining. <clears throat> I really do appreciate it. Also, a quick reminder that I run giveaways that are exclusive to my subscribers. So if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Uh, you don't have to, but it'd be awesome if you did. I would love it. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Also, I have a giveaway running ending tomorrow that I'll be drawing. I have a giveaway the following day, uh, the day after that. There's basically giveaways for the next like four or five days straight. Um, and they're all completely free to enter. So now would be the time to get in on that. So hit the refresh button on my channel and you will see the individual drawing videos for each one. Uh, like I said, got a whole bunch of, of lots here. Let me make some room. Um, Cause let's be honest, there's not a whole lot of room up here. So let's make some room for the magic to start happening. I hope things are going well for you on this Saturday afternoon. It is a very sunny Saturday in this neck of the woods. It is very warm where I am currently. Uh, talked to my parents earlier today and it's freezing cold where they are. Um, so crazy. Anyway, but back to it. So while I'm waiting for a number of people to file in, I could go over some cool finds that uh, I was able to make. I went a trip, took a trip to an antique mall. And while I was there, I made a pretty cool score. I was surprised. Um, let me, I'm still making room here. Let me put all these back for a second. Uh, probably, anyway, I have a huge like 3,200 count box um, next to me that you cannot see, but it is a 3,200 count box. Anyway, let's get to it. So let me uh, pull up the other box that I have here and I can do a quick little uh, kind of reveal action. So here's some cards, and here's some more cards. So, went to an antique mall, about 45 minutes away. Wasn't sure that they would even sell cards of any kind whatsoever. Walked in, they did have cards, they actually had an entire section. Um, there was a sign that says, uh, you could fill, they do have prices if you wanted to buy them individually, but the minute I saw, uh, you could fill up an entire one of these boxes, for $25 flat. So of course I tried to get as many cards as I could to fit into the $25 box. As you can see, uh, there was a stack of cards that would not fit. So I uh, put the cheapest ones I could. Um, anyway, let me show you what I found. There is a mix of baseball, of football, and of basketball. But super cool. I basically paid uh, the equivalent of about $32 for this entire huge stack of cards. Uh, let me know if you can hear me, by the way. Uh, no one has left a comment at all. Um, let me type it in. Can you hear me? Anyway, the first person to reply would be great. Uh, otherwise, I am essentially talking to myself. Um, but you know what? People will find it on the replay, too. So let me go through that stack, like I said, of baseball. I tried to get a huge variety. There was different years, different sets. Um, it was really, it was a really nice sampling. Honestly, like a lot of the cards were very on, were on the cheap end, but uh, I was out of collecting for a long time. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I get a nice little smattering of stuff? I did manage to pick up some cool stuff. So let's go through. We will do the basketball first that I managed to find. So here we go. Ignore all the prices. 
that uh, are on the stickers. Because like I said, um, it was a full box for $25. Um, if I had paid for these separately, it probably would have come into like 75 But then again, I wouldn't have bought this much if it was going to be separately. So we got this cool hologram of Detlef Shrimp. Which hol holograms do not show up particularly well um, on my camera, as I found out. It is a gold label of Tony Kukoc. It's really strange. It looks like he has a, it looks like he has a little person brother. Um, but anyway, gold label going all the way back to... 1999. Uh, we got this cool hoops blue parallel card that I picked up of Darren Collison. This is from 2017, 2018. Next up, I picked up this uh, Fleer Force Jason Kid. They uh, this one is from 2000. I wish Fleer was still out there making cards. I know the Fleer Metal Universe cards. Are, have become super popular. Speaking of which, Fleer Metal Universe, the uh, texture on this Reggie Miller is super cool. And it is from 1998 Fleer Metal Universe. Got a Kevin Garnett EX card from 2001. So like I said, I tried to get a sampling of cards from different eras. And different times. Got a Fleer Flair. I always used to love Flair. This is Team USA Basketball. Those Flair packs used to just cost a huge amount of money back in the day. Um, then we have uh, Scotty Pippen, Stadium Club, playing with the Blazers. Again, if you're out there and you can hear me, let me know. Um, that would be fantastic. Because like I said, otherwise, it's just... Uh, Greetings, K Family Rips. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm waiting for a couple more people to see if they are going to file in. I'm going through. I had, um, I was able to find some random cards at an antique mall, and so I'm going through them. Paid about thirty bucks total for all of these. So ignore the prices. This uh, tops design. I think it's two thousand eight. Two thousand eight was super cool. Super cool. Anyway, there were some basketball cards. I picked up some football and then some baseball. And like I said, I, I will, uh, I'm kind of warming up and then I'll get to the card sale in a minute. These uh, Topps Finest cards, super cool. Because um, like I said, I tried to get one, at least one card from every set that they had available that I was unfamiliar with. Like this Fleer Brilliance. It's the, uh, this is uh, the 1984 throwback, I believe, from Archives. Chris Mullen. Like I said, none of, the, none of these individual cards that I bought uh, are worth a ton of money. That's why uh, That's why if you notice the, the prices that they wanted were super cheap. But it's just cool every once in a while to flip through some cards that you may not have ever seen. At least that's how I feel. Look at this cool Fleer Ultra uh, gold. That was the first time I've ever seen that. Then um, Cedric Sabalos. Sorry, I should work on this. Uh, there is a Nick Van Exel. This is a collector's choice and uh kobe bryant i love la so those were the basketball that i found here's some football and then i'll get to the baseball i did make i got an actual like a legitimate steal um that, y that i'll show you in a minute and i'll show you the original price tag um here's something crazy so this bowman chrome card is from 2007 look at the warping that is on this card um, it is Larry Fitzgerald, but look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's just like natural warp. I don't think they, they left it out in the sun or anything. That's just how they, they go unless you put them in. A, I heard if you put them in a top loader, there's a top's finest, also a huge amount of warping. This one's from uh, 2005. They do have a, a throwback that I found. Um, the condition of the card is absolutely terrible. As you see, it's ripped, but it is from 1976. Uh, Dwight Harrison. Have a kickoff card of Thurman Thomas when they used to go to the big game. There's a Mick Tinglehoff of the Vikings and 77. I know it's probably, um, most, like, uh, it's probably annoying for me to flip over because honest, but I don't want to say the wrong year. I, I got to be honest. Like, I don't know. I wasn't even alive in 19, I wasn't alive until 1980. And so, uh, anyway, there's an upper deck. Yeah, K Family Ribs. By the way, thank you for joining us, K Family Ribs. Uh, looks like there's another person, but they haven't commented. There's an Ozzy Newsome. 
a Mark Gastineau, a Richard Todd, and then a cool looking Steve Young. Yeah. Um, I don't know how old you are, um, K family, but you know, I'm 40. And so I stopped collecting in like 94 ish. And so there's a huge gap. Um, as like I said, there's a huge stack of baseball cards I got. Um, I was able to fill up this entire box for $25. I got a little more than that. So I had to pay extra, but here's a whole bunch of cards from years that uh, I don't recognize. And like I said, I'll get to the card sale after that. So Jimmy Paredes, uh, this is a Bowman Platinum. It must be a kind of parallel. Doesn't may not show that ball on camera, but anyway, it is super cool. That's an illegal hockey stick curve. Isn't that the truth? Huh? Uh, here's a Biggio 1995. I think this is, is this a sport? It's sport flicks, man. I'll tell you. Let's see if I can get the sport to actually flicks a little bit. Um, but anyway, it's cool sport. I always, I always used, I always used to love sport flicks. Um, also the, the random action packed cards, man, if you, if you have any interest in action packed and the rounded edges, you can get, you can get these for, uh, for super cheap people are they're not just giving them away but close here's a leaf i think this is this is definitely early 90s 91 leaf todd van poppel i remember when he was going to be uh big uh here's a matt chapman uh, minor league card when he was playing for stockton it says here choice 2015 playing for the the port um anyway not often you find a, a minor league card here's a vita blue from 1978. 1978. That card is older than I am. This one's a 1972. I know that because um, you can make custom cards on tops.com. And a lot of people and make custom cards of their animals, like their dogs or cats. And they like that 72 design. Um, here's an old Fleer of Ricky Henderson. Like I said, most of these cards are not worth a ton of, a ton of value. I mean, they're not worth a ton. But uh, they're just cool. I mean, and I paid 25 bucks. That's like the price of a blaster box, basically, after tax. Here's a Bowman card of Julio Tehran. We have a, a Chris Davis minor league card when he was playing with the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. Um, so there you go. We have a uh, Wilmer Flores. This is an old Bowman one. Bowman's brightest. Like I said, you let me know how many of these you've actually seen. There's another minor league card, this time for uh, the Bradenton Marauders. Gone Marauden. We have uh, Diamond Kings of Carlos Gonzalez's and Optic. Uh, optic cards are super cool. Even if they are not licensed, they're cool. Here's a, a random old uh, Topps Chrome. Carlos Santana, I believe this is 2011 because it looks like, yeah, it looks like the uh, same design for the Mike Trout um, Topps Chrome. We have uh, Key Boom, Prismatic Prodigies from Bowman Platinum. As a Nationals fan, I'm really hoping that he has a good year. Uh, here's a Dansby Swanson, Collegiate Edition. I'm sure that our buddy uh, Adam's Card Closet would like that. 2015 Future Stars, Dansby Swanson. They wanted eleven fifty. I didn't realize it when I bought, was buying it. They wanted eleven fifty for that card by itself. I have to look up and see what it's worth. What it's actually worth now. Uh, Golden memories, Fleer tradition of Big Mac, Mark McGuire. Um, here's a, an old Bowman Chrome of Jorge Posada. Not quite the illegal hockey stick curve, but man, that's got some curve to it as well. And that is a two thousand and two. Two thousand and two. Um, here's a f called Fun Stuff. I had never heard of it, uh, but it's all caricature cards, huh? We have a uh, Mark Ferdrich. This is a Golden Age Panini from 2013. Like I said, tons of variety. Uh, cool Rendon card back when he was with the Nationals. And let me tell you, the Nationals miss him a lot. I know he's getting paid big time bucks uh, with the LA Angels of Anaheim. There's a Kent to Colby laughing away with the Philadelphia Phillies. This one's super old too. It's definitely going to be 1986. Uh, Cito Gaston. Going by Clarence Gaston right there. Back in his playing days, 1976. Like I said, a lot of these cards are older than I am. Slightly older. Uh, 1999 checklist of A-Rod. Then uh, got a David Justice SP. I don't know if it's a regular one. That's 95, I believe. Of course, SP is known for the, the super expensive Derek Jeter rookie card from 93 SP. 93. Uh I used to convince myself that I had one of those, and then I went through my old collection before it got donated, and I did not have one. 
as it turns out. There's a Vlad Guerrero upper deck, uh, not as rookie, but uh, Vlad Guerrero senior, of course, not junior. Got a John Smoltz Leaf 50th anniversary. You let me know if you have seen any of these sets or if you have these sets. Most of these sets I was not collecting for. Um, this one is super familiar. I had a bunch of these. Juan Gonzalez, 1990 upper deck. Don't even have to look it up. Here's Danny Ainge as a baseball player, not as a basketball player. Blue Jays there, third base. This one is from 1982. So uh, I forgot when he decided to switch over from, from baseball to basketball, but of course he's, he's much better known for basketball now. Got a, a Charles Johnson. Next up, we have a uh, Crown Contenders Select 94 of Greg Maddox. Then a uh, David Price Gypsy Queen. We got some more. Let me speed up a little bit. Otherwise, this is going to be like forever. This is a super cool Topps Chrome. This is 2012, I believe. Because, yeah, that's the uh, same year as the Bryce Harper rookie. But that one's held up pretty well, considering it's eight years old. Fredo Griffin. Got a Danny Mengden. Look at that stash, huh? Crazy stash. Um, got a Brooks Conrad, Deion Sanders, Pinnacle. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, Jack Clark. And if you were just joining, I'm flipping through some stuff that, uh, Daryl Strawberry is a giant. Uh, I'm flipping through some stuff that I found at an antique mall for, for super cheap. I got all this entire stack of cards for like 25 bucks. After that, I am going to be getting to the cheap card sale, but I just wanted to flip through some cards. There's a first Bowman of Yenis Cespedes. So that was a super cool find. They only wanted 25 cents for that. 25 cents. Uh, Daryl Evans, throwback there. Not throwback. It was an actual from 1979. Uh, Jason Giambi. Look at that throwback A's uniform from Donruss 2001. Dwayne Murphy. Uh, Ted Lepto. So it's always cool to look at the old stuff. We got a couple more stacks of the old stuff, and then we'll get into the card sale. But I uh, hope, you're, hope you're having fun just looking through. Cracker Jack ball players, Bernie Williams. A uh, Dick Tidro. This one's going to be 1977. Golden Memories of Hideki Irabu. Uh, Black Diamond, Diamonds in the Rough of Ed Yarnall. So like I said, a lot of these are super cheap because they're not the biggest names in the universe. But it's just, you know, there's a there's a Jeter, Triple Clown, Triple Clown, Triple Crown, sorry. <laughs> not that Derek Jeter is watching this. I can guarantee you that Derek Jeter is not watching this live stream. Um so, of course, we have uh, K Give Me a Break, K Family Rips is here, and Trucker Tim also just chimed in. Look at that uh, Look at that 70s hair and 70s stash of, of Don Stanhouse. Uh, go subscribe. They both have channels. They're both wonderful. Uh, hey, I Pop got three packs at Target Top Series 1. Uh, have you opened them yet? And if you did open them, uh, did you get anything super cool? Here's a Bowman. I think this is 2015. There's a Yellow Parallel, Hunter Renfro, and a Nis Parallel. And let me check it. Is, yeah, it is 2015. So Hunter Renfro went hunting and we found him. Uh, yeah, Tim, let me know if you got anything good in those packs. And uh, I'm going to be finishing this up and then we'll get to the actual card sale. So uh, got a mini, first Bowman mini of Fran Mill Reyes. Um, I'm not always a fan of the minis because they're hard to sleeve up. Very foot. Put your foot in your mouth, Noah. Uh, first Bowman chrome, by the way, of Wilson Contreras. Look at that. He looks like he's like 15 in that picture. I don't know how actually, how old he actually is, but man, he looks super young. But a first Bowman Chrome, it was going for uh, three bucks. Uh, Nate breaks in a box. Is like this. There's a Rizzo. I'm not sure if it's just a base one or a short print, but there's a, a Rizzo action for him. Uh, Mark Grace looks like he's really struggling running the bases. Uh, first Bowman of Christian Javier, who by the way has a rookie card in Tops Series One of this year. Here's uh, Moises Alou, who I do not remember playing for the Houston Astros. He apparently played for a lot more teams than I ever remember. Dusty Baker, playing for the Giants at the time, who is now the manager of the Houston Astros. Wayne Gross, I'm sure he doesn't like to be called Gross. Uh, Jose Canseco, SP. Got a uh, first Bowman of Jaron Duran. Um, can't believe I was able to get that one. And Xander Bogarts. Um, I don't think there's anything special about that Bogarts other than it's Bogarts himself. Um, not heading home. I don't know much about baseball. Uh, yeah, if you can get like a, a green sparkle or something like that, or some kind of a short print or one of the top rookies, then you'll be set. Um, but three packs, it's hard to tell. So here's a, a, a Denny's sports flick. You can see it moving there of uh, Mo Vaughn. 
Got a Devers rookie from Bowman. A uh, Bradley Zimmer, first Bowman Chrome. This year is, well, look at that, pie, uh, that graph, 2014. Uh, Byron Buxton, numbered at a 250 from Bowman Platinum. This is a random cereal box card. Quaker, sorry, granola bar, granola bar card of Tom Seifer. Isn't that crazy? From uh, 1986, granola bar card. We have uh, Andrew Jones, Fleur Tradition, Dale Murphy from 83. Joe Carter, uh, before he won the series with the Blue Jays, he was with. Got uh, Xander Bogarts. This is his minor league card playing for the drive. Look at that. Xander Bogarts minor league, by the way, if you're wondering, it's 2012. Bogarts. So I got some some good pickups. But I'll let you, but stick around because I got a super pickup. And the person who sold it, uh, here's a Johnny Damon playing with the Royals. The person who sold it is probably going to regret selling it to me. 97. Uh, rookie of Jason Kendall, uh, a bump Willis. I do have to say, by the way, that uh, some of these cards I bought because they're older, but some of them I bought because of the names. The guy's name is Bump Willis. Uh, Mike Tyson, not the Tyson you're thinking of. Uh, look at that old Chicago Cubs. It says here, the Cody Bellinger highlights cards. Yeah, I mean, you can, they're, it, they're hard to pull, but there are, uh, there are Cody Bellinger autographs that can be pulled. I think the autographs are terrible. I mean, I think not the autographs. I think the odds are terrible. I think it's like, I, I'm not going to say, but it's probably like one in 20,000 packs. Here's a Pinnacle 97 of Jose Offerman. Like, and there's, there's, I did have a bunch of these select Randy Johnson's. Here's another uh, sport flicks. Did you know that sports flicks was still going in the year 2000? Because this is from the year 2000. The first time I remember sports flicks was 1986. Manny Ramirez, Fleur Ultra, David Justice. And then we're rounding, at this point, I'd say we're rounding third. A couple more to go. And then I will uh, go over the big, big, big score. 40 cards. Per oh, those are the fat packs. Yeah, the fat packs are usually, I'm talking, if you're wondering, if you're watching and you're like, who's he talking to? Trucker Tim is uh, talking to me in the chat section. Yeah, the fat packs usually have the best selection, but there's a chance that the cards could be damaged. But yeah, you can pull some good stuff from the fat packs. Anyway, 2016 Topps Chrome. I know that Topps Chrome 2016, uh, or 2016 in general, was Corey Seager and uh, Trey Turner that year. But man, um, they look really nice, these Topps Chrome from that year in particular. Then uh, we're really going back. We have a Steve Carlton and Lynn Barker from 1981. Got a John Smoltz, 1989. Know it off the top of my head because that was the same year of the Ken Griffey, the famous, the famous Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Um, and if you were growing up during that era, that was like, I'm not going to say it was the chase card, but man, if you had one of those Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards, you thought you were in business. If I do have a, if I have a catfish hunter, I will let you know. I honestly do not remember. Carolina League. How many Carolina League cards have you seen? Jason Hayward, big name. Jason Hayward playing for the Myrtle Beach Pelicans in the Carolina League. I didn't even know they had cards for them until I saw this one. Here's a Bo Jackson card from 1990 that uh, I've never seen before. Never. Um, there's a Manny Ramirez rookie card from Upper Deck that I was able to pick up as well. Well, obviously I was able to pick these up because um, they're in my possession. So anyway, sorry. I get I get a little stumbly sometimes. Gary Carter, going back 1982. Pete Rose, look at this, Vlad Guerrero, Flair Ultra. Trevor Bauer, this is, uh, I think it's Archives from uh, 2015. Got a Felix Hernandez, Bowman Platinum, look at that shine. A uh, Nitkowski Pinnacle, Johnny Damon, Diamond Aces from 96, back when he was at the Royals. Look at this, Mickey Hatcher with the, uh, I love it when they have like really weird pictures. I picked this up specifically because that is the biggest baseball club. I have ever seen. It looks like the glove that the mascot uh, would have. Uh, Dan McGinn Expos. I think it's 1975. I think this is the year or 72 possibly. Yeah, 72. This is what the uh, Heritage this year is going to look like. That design is super cool. I know Heritage generally doesn't hold a ton of value, but it might be worth buying a couple of blasters just because that design is going to be cool to see modern players. Uh, I got a Gary Sheffield rookie from 89 Donruss. I was also able to pick up a Randy Johnson rookie from 89 as well. Hey, RJ, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm going to be starting the card sale in a few minutes. I'm going over some stuff that I was able to get at a uh, antique mall. I was able to pick up all, forget, ignore the prices. I was able to pick up the entire stack for $25.
Flair Tradition, Pedro Martinez when he was traded to the Red Sox. Um, there's a Chipper Jones Pinnacle 97. Uh, Chipper Jones Pinnacle, what year is this? 94. Uh, Chipper Jones rookie card, upper deck. Not in the, the corners are not great, but you know, whatever. I mean, I was able to get it for a, a song. I didn't have to sing any either, which is even better. Uh, Diamond Standpoints, Flair Tradition, Chipper. Here's an A Rod, Diamond Standpoints. And this one is 1998. Got Deion Sanders. Do you not remember him playing with the uh, the Reds? But look, look at the expression on his face. Uh, this is a Yoan Moncada from 2017. Uh, Bowman. Look at that super cool shine on that. We have uh, John Hudick from Flair Ultra Showcase and Frank Thomas. Oh, that's my neighbor being loud. Uh, Curtis Granderson, Bowman. Uh, Miguel Sano, and then I was able, as a part of the 25 bucks, to pick up this Casey Mize Team USA relic, college national team. Um, the corners are not fantastic, but it's a cool um, relic. Yeah, I could. Oh, it's also, by the way, it's numbered to 299. How cool is that? Yeah, Trucker Tim, I, uh, I, ha I purposely have not. Um, Tell me what your – you don't do baseball like you said, Chuck or Tim, but what's your – what what is your uh, favorite baseball team? Just, just just throwing it out there. RJ, thank you for joining us. Those gold pinnacle cards, Chip. Yeah, I know. Like uh, Anyway, I was able to pick this up for $1. This is a Bowman Chrome of Bo Bichette. It's not as rookie and it's not his first Bowman, but it is from 2017. But here's the real steal, other than the Casey Mize. They had a section of autographs, um, and I paid $5 for this. I got a Ryan Mountcastle optic autograph for $5. I went, I came home. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I immediately grabbed it. And I came home and I looked it up and on the, uh, on an eBay, these are going for like 80 bucks. Isn't that crazy? And Mountcastle, he's got his rookie in series one this year. So this could even go up, um, could go up even further. So that's super cool, isn't it? Ryan Mountcastle and I paid five bucks. So I paid like $32 total for like all of all of those cards. So now I'm going to do um, team team lot um, sale if you guys are interested. Um, so I assume there's people here. I see there's people here. So if you're interested, we can do it. Um, instead of just listing off random teams, you let me know um, what teams you guys would be interested in. Uh, basically, it's not going to be an auction. The uh, the way I like I prefer to do it is uh, like I'll say for example this team lot is like ten bucks and then the first person to write if it's like the Phillies I put you write in like Phillies sold in the chat and then one thing I didn't realize from the last time we did this is I think that there's a lag on my like on your end or my end like you guys type it in and then like thirty seconds later or something I see it um, that kind of thing I did not realize that until later and that's the first thing. Um, but anyway, if you guys are interested, basically, I think everyone here, like, I have Trucker Tim's email. I have RJ's email. I have K Family Rips' email. It says there's a fourth person here, um, but I, they haven't commented yet. But if I don't have your email, <laughs> if I don't have your email, then uh, please let me know. It's Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. Um, for example, it's going to be a flat $5 for shipping, whether you buy one card or $800. Um, because I need to get a tracking number. Because people always wonder about tracking numbers. The reason I do it is because uh, I have something um, that, that I can track. You guys have something you can look up. But also, I've sent things before without tracking numbers. And I got to be honest, there's a number of times where they don't show up at the destination. And I get tracking numbers because it makes the post office have to be accountable. Um, so anyway, but yeah, it's only five bucks. So you buy one team, five bucks. It's not a big deal. If you buy 10 teams, five bucks or whatever. You know, it's like a great, it's an amazing deal, you know? Um, so I know RJ is here. K Family Rips, would, would, would you be interested in Tigers? Or you guys let me know. I can pull out my Phillies for sure. Um, and then Trucker Tim, you said Yankees. So let me see um, if, you have, if there's any more. Uh, if there's any other teams, let me know. I have one, I have a pack for all 30 teams. You won't believe it. RJ, by the way. Um, I saw you on Jem and Chris's stream when he was doing the mystery packs. I think you might have left though before I hit the chat window. 
But he was doing some amazing mystery packs, like some incredible stuff. And he said he has a whole bunch of Philly stuff. I don't know if he's done or not, but maybe you want to contact him. Um, also, if you guys haven't seen, yesterday I did an impromptu live stream. I, uh, I pulled a Fernando Tatis rookie card autograph numbered out of 150. 150! I couldn't believe it. I, I not, not joking, I almost fell out of my chair. Um, it was insane. So, Yank, Yanks and Mets. Okay, so this is what I have in terms of Philadelphia Phillies. Um, by the way, I have a ton of uh, a ton of uh, Topps National Baseball card take cards because they opened a bunch of them yesterday. Um, but yeah, like I can go through all thirty teams. You guys, you guys, let me know. Um, hold on. I know I'm talking and there's, and there's no video. At the, well, there is a video, but there's, no, there's nothing on the screen. It's because I got – this is why. I have, like, these huge boxes. That's why, because I don't want to hit my thing. But I have these huge boxes, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to grab them and then not knock over stuff. And, you know, all the, all the usual kind of professional stuff that professional uh, people do. So I uh, still have this old J.D. Hammer uh, throwing down the hammer autograph. That will be uh, – that will be part of the Phillies lot. Um, and then we have enough. So anyway, this is how it's going to be. Um, I don't know if anyone else is interested in the Phillies or whatever, but the first person to type in Phillies sold will get it. If no one's interested, then no one's interested. The uh, Phillies lot, um, I'll go through all of them, but the Phillies lot will be $15 and then plus the $5 shipping. Um, and like I said, after you pay the five, Hey, Sobreros, thank you for joining us. Um, so basically the first thing you buy, it's $5 shipping. The second thing you buy is still only $5. And the third thing you buy is still only $5. It's only going to go, the shipping never goes up. It's just going to be a solid $5. Um, and this lot particular is 15 bucks. I will go through it all. If you happen to want it, just type in Philly sold. You can type it in at any moment and I'm going to go through everything and then give it about 45 seconds after that. Um, and if no one claims it, then I'll go on to the next team. But, uh, there's a Reese Hoskins 19 baseball card day. Of course, there's this JD hammer gold autograph, uh, numbered out of 50 numbered out of 50. I know it's not the name. It's not like the super name that you want. Of course, uh, Reese Hoskins got a Bryce Harper. Um, is this, is this 52 throwback or 51 people? People have a better recollection of it. You guys let me know the 52 or 51 throwback. Uh, we got a mini of uh, Mike Mike Michael Franco, I'm sure I'm butchering that name. Kingery, um, random stickers that I pulled. Um, I know they're not cards; they're stickers. I get it. John Crook looking like uh, he's wondering when his next Philly cheesesteak. Um, yeah, Trucker Tim, I, I already have you set. So if you buy a lot, I can I can absolutely add it to what uh, you already have. This is is uh, Darren Dalton. By the way, ninety three studio uh, was a super cool set. Castillo got an Andy Ashby. Santos, J.D. Hammer, Irvin Cole, Hase Hasley. Got a silver pack, Aaron Nola. We have uh, Ranger Suarez, Nick Williams, Steve Carlton, and Bryce Harper. And then, like I said, the big part of the Phillies lot is the um, is the autograph. But there is also, not joking, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 Reese Hoskins. <laughs> Bowman rookie cards from 2018. Again, this lot would be $15 plus five bucks shipping. If anyone wants it, uh, type in Philly sold in the chat. I will look over the chat and if I don't see anyone say anything in the next like 45 seconds, then I will move on to the next team. Um, I believe that, uh, so we have Mets, we have Yankees. And then I th think uh, now, RJ typed in Philly sold, but that was like five minutes ago. So do you, RJ, do you actually want it for sure for $15 or not? I got it. I don't know if you were joking because you put hot. Anyway, let me know if you were or were not joking. Is um Okay, Trucker, Tim, good. Okay, so RJ, you got it. Phillies, these are all yours. Also, RJ, um, I'll go through the, the stack that I got from the thrift store and all the Phillies cards. I will throw them in there for you already. Um, anyway, let me write it down. Phillies 
And uh, K family, are you still here? Do you want me to do Tigers next? Because Trucker Tim said Yankees and Mets. Um, or if you guys have a request for other teams, you let me know. Um, anyway, I did order some more Series 1. Um, there will probably be a break, but it's going to be like next week. So like seven days, probably seven, either six or seven days from today is when the, uh, the next break is going to be. It's going to be Series 1 for sure. And then 2020 update. And then a bunch, you know, the, the usual kind, of, the usual suspects, as, they, as I like to say, or my, as my mother used to say to me, oh, hold on, I'm reaching over. So let's do the Detroit Tigers next. Oh, my God, I think I'm going to fall on my chair. Uh, let me grab it. Oh, my goodness. I'm almost home. I'm not here. I'll hit you up later. Okay. So the Detroit Tigers. Let me, let me put together at least a decent enough lot for the Tigers. If you guys are interested in another team, um, okay, RJ, absolutely. Um, yeah, so 20 bucks, and I will send all the Phillies cards off to you. Um, let me assemble a nice enough set for the, to make the Tigers worthwhile. And it's like I said, Trucker Tim said Yankees and Mets, but he's going to go elsewhere. There says there's six people here. Um, if anyone else has another team, feel free to type in the chat. Um, because I am flexible. I can go through all 30 teams, except for the Phillies because they just sold. I can go through all 30 teams. Um, but I don't want to just do like a bunch of like teams that no one cares about. Like I don't want to pick on the Diamondbacks per se. I don't want to per se pick on the Diamondbacks. But uh, or the Brewers are are generally not the A's, you know, the like the Rockies. God, I would love, I'll tell you, I'd love it if, if someone is interested in the Rockies, the Cardinals, the A's, the Brewers, or the Diamondbacks. I have, not joking, or the Washington Nationals. I have so many, um, so many cards. Like I'm drowning in, uh, in those cards. Sorry, I'm just trying to assemble it. The, uh, the, um, the Tigers lot was looking a little light. And so I want to like put enough cards in there that it's, that it's worth even throwing out there. Um, like I said, if you guys are out there, I know I've mentioned it, um, but there are people joining and, and leaving it at different times. Um, any other teams, let me know. Uh, anyway, I, thank you for bearing with me, by the way. You're probably thinking, man, this dude should be more professional. Um, but if you ever watched any of my videos, you know that that uh, I'm kind of loose. Um, I'm kind of loose. Let's be honest. I'm pretty loose. Uh, so, K family, I'm trying to make it worth your while here. So, I mean, I'm going on the fly. Let's see, it says there's eight people here. Like I said, if there's other teams that other people are interested in, then feel free to let me know. As I'm flipping through cards off camera, which let, let me tell you, flipping through cards off. I'm here to hang out, but Bridger likes angels. And I like, oh, I got a whole bunch of Dodgers and I have a whole bunch of angels. So don't you worry about us. That's a, that's a song. That is not. Um, I knew I had tigers. Come on, tigers. Where, where are you hiding out these days? Aha, maybe I got it here. Here's the here's something, K family. If you is there another team that you want in addition to the Tigers? Because maybe I could combine them into like one megawatt and make it uh make it worthwhile. And Sabreros, I will get out the uh, I will get out the um the Angels and the Dodgers, of which I do have a bunch of those. Um Oh, why? oh, you know why? Because people keep taking the Tigers in the, the breaks. That's why I have fewer of them as we're doing it. All right, I'll tell you what. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine the Tigers a lot with a bunch of Turkey Reds, and that'll make it easier. Um, that'll make it so much easier. So let's do it. Let's get it going, and then I'll do the Angels and the, uh, the Dodgers. So, um...
Oh, here we go. Never mind. I had more. Oh, I had another stack. I was a fool. I was an absolute fool. So here's your tiger stack. Let me go through all of them. Um, we have uh, Isaac um, Bowman Chrome, Isaac Paredes, stat tracker from last year's Bowman. Uh, Bowman was super cool last year. I'm looking forward to what it's going to be like this year. We got a studio of Cecil Fielder. Got some stickers. Have a, a Kirk Gibson with his wild hat. Um, got a Matthew Boyd, Gary Sheffield. Do not remember him playing for the, the Detroit Tigers, but apparently he did at one point. Um, we do have this rainbow foil of Buck Farmer. This really old throwback of Jim Bunning, which is in terrible condition, by the way, but it's from 1961. Not only is it from 1961, but it had it's just a plain black plain back can you believe that uh jim crawford got a kirk gibson and we have a whole bunch of miggy cabrera um national baseball card day got a size more and then i decided i'm gonna combine it with this entire stack of turkey reds willie mccovey chris jones i uh i do realize that these are um not tigers um but i don't care because i'm gonna combine them because it's my sale and i'm doing it but yeah, you will get all this as part of the Tigers lot if you are interested in the Tigers. A um, lot of Hall of Famers. There's some Chrome in here. Uh, we got a Kyle Lewis as well. Um, Gavin Lux. So you're looking at, but it would be $15 um, for all the Tigers and all the Turkey Reds. Uh, there's a Kyle Lewis, like I said, and a Gavin Lux and a whole bunch of other Turkey Reds. So if you would like the Tigers lot um, for $15 plus $5 shipping, but $5, $15, uh, type in Tigers sold. If you don't, then I'm going to get the Dodgers and the Angels ready so I'm actually prepared. Because um, being prepared is awesome. All right, let's get the Angels. Like I said, if anyone wants the Tigers, that whole thing, including the Turkey Reds, 15 bucks plus five dollars shipping. Again, you only have to pay the shipping one time. Um, and after that, anything else you buy is for free shipping. So uh, type in Tigers sold. And if not, then I'll move on to the next team. And uh, the next team is going to be the LA Dodgers. And then we're going to move on to the LA Angels of Anaheim. So it looks like no one, no one wants the Tigers. That's fine. Um, that is cool. We'll go to the uh, Dodgers next. There's a bunch of Dodgers cards. Um, and let me just pull out the Angels, too, while I'm at it, and then it'll make it easier for them later. Anyway, thank you for spending your time with me. Anyway, by the way, um, there's a lot of different ways you could be a lot of different places you could be on a, on a Saturday, and uh, it's cool that you've decided to spend time with me. So let's do it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That's super heavy. So I guess no one wants the Tigers, so I'll move those aside. Next up, we have the LA Dodgers. So let me just go through the stack off camera really quickly. Yeah, it's definitely a fifteen dollar. It is definitely a fifteen dollar stack. Okay, so if anyone wants the LA Dodgers, um, it's fifteen dollars plus, like I said, five dollars um, shipping. But you only pay shipping once. So if you buy two or five or whatever, however many lots, it's still only five bucks total. Um, so I'm going to go through the stack. If you do happen to want the Dodgers for fifteen bucks plus five shipping, um, type in Dodgers sold. Also, Saberos, I do not have your um, I do not have your email. So if you, if you're interested, email me at Kevin's budget card breaks at gmail.com. Again, Kevin's budget card breaks at gmail.com. Let me start flipping through. Like I said, I think there's a delay in the chat, but, um, it would be $15 plus $5 shipping. Uh, you get this Dustin May pink refractor from tops Chrome. You get, uh, two regular Dustin May rookies. Um, Bunch of random stickers. I think these are 2018 stickers. Daryl Strawberry, Tim Wallach. You get not one, not two, but you get three. Kenta Maeda, Bowman Chrome, 
rookie cards, and these are from 2016. Got a bruised dart, Garatterall rookie card from Archives. Um, there's this really cool, um, I don't even know what they call it, but it's a Topps Chrome, and uh, it came in the complete set variations for 2018. Um, it does have a little bit of peeling, just so you know, it does have some peeling there in the corner. That's how it came out. Um, Pinnacle, Clayton Kershaw, Greatest Seasons, Clayton Kershaw, uh, Gallery, Pee Wee Reese, Bowman, Dustin May, rookie card, uh, regular Bowman, Dustin May, two, two Gaunt, sorry, we got a second Dustin May, two Gonsolin, Bowman rookie cards, a Kybert Ruiz, who has a rookie card in Series 1, Bowman Chrome from last year, Cody Jose Bowman Chrome. Then we have a Stadium Club Chrome of Kenley Jansen, um, a Ching Lung Hu from, this is a uh, trading card history, Carlos Monasterios, a Chin Ling Hu again, rookie card, a Jonathan Melion, Leon, uh, Hiroki Kuroda rookie, a Blake DeWitt rookie, Will Smith, uh, rookie gold cup. We got two of those. Uh, really going back, Pedro Guerrero. Um, the condition is not fantastic on this, just so you know, but it's super old. Uh, Jack Fimple from 84. Uh, we have a Corey Seager red, red fire parallel from Topps Fire. Hey, D's Boys Toys, thank you for joining us. We have a flamethrower of Walker Bueller. Uh, series one, we have Bruce Dar, Future Stars, a Gavin Lux Future Stars card, a Cody Bellinger insert. Uh, two of the Cody Bellinger uh, retrospective highlights. Thank you for joining us, Boys Toys and Sobreros and Trucker Tim and Egg with 5,000 subs. Thank you for joining us. And Egg with 5,000 subs refuses to change his name to like Egg with 35,000 subs, but I understand why. He explained it. I claim, but go over and be the 36,000. We got a Walmart blue, Royal blue parallel with Mookie Betts. And then finally, a Clayton Kershaw National Baseball Card Day 2019. If anyone would like the Dodgers lot, including like all 50 or so of these cards, um, for $15 plus $5 shipping, so $20 total, type in Dodgers sold into the chat. Uh, also, D's Boys Toys or Egg with 5,000 subs. Um, just explain, we're doing a live card sale. It's not an auction. Um, it's like the first person in the chat to claim it. And if you are interested, obviously, uh, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com is the email address. It's $5 for shipping for the first lot. And then the shipping doesn't go up from there. It's just $5 max. Um, and it's only 5 bucks for tracking number. If you just want to hang out, that's super cool too. Um, if there's any teams that you would like to request, um, please let me know because it's a lot easier than just going through all 30. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't sure Egg, if you had seen it. Um, anyway, if anyone wants the Dodgers lot, um, type in Dodgers sold. If no one wants it, I will move on. Um, I'll give it like another 20 seconds and see if anyone wants it. Um, we did do the Phillies already in that sold. Uh, we did the Tigers and then that did not. Uh, and then the, the Dodgers are the third lot of the day. So. Oh, you're a Giants fan. Do you want me to do it, uh, Giants lot, or no? Anyway, it looks like no one's interested in the uh, the Dodgers lot, so that's okay. Um, I will move on. Also, if like if uh, if, if uh, like I mentioned before, if no one's interested in any of the team lots, I have some stuff packs that I can open. Um, I have some packs that I can open too. Uh, now, Sabreros also mentioned that he was an Angels fan. I can get the Giants lot ready in a minute. Um, here is the Angels lot. We have a uh, blue parallel of Jason Castro. That was from Update last year. We have a Joe Adele from Bowman last year. We have an Otani from Topps Chrome. Really going back from 93 Heritage, we have JT Snow. I remember when he was going to be a huge prospect. Here's his regular base card. Studio 93 was a really cool set, by the way. Tim Salmon. Not sure if this is a rookie card or not. Got a couple of stickers. Um, we got another JT Snow. We have a Vlad Guerrero. I think this is 2008 Upper Deck, I believe. Uh, Caleb Coward. Oh, Cow Coward. I said Coward. Rich Thompson. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Excuse my counting. 12 Mike Trouts from uh, National Baseball Card Day 2019. Got this Trout uh, insert from Series 1. Throwbacks, Frank Tanana. Look at that mustache, by the way. And Dave LaRoche. Uh, Jason Thompson, Bert Campaneris, 
And then uh, the, I think it's the single A affiliate or the double A affiliate. Uh, San Bernardino Spirit, the bug. I'm not joking. Anyway, if uh, anyone wanted to do ten dollars plus five dollars shipping, so fifteen total dollars. Uh, type in Angels Sold into the chat. If not, I will move on to. I'll get a giant slot together just in case um, Egg is interested. And if not, uh, if anyone has any other teams, uh, uh, otherwise I will start um, opening some packs. Because why not? Because packs are awesome. Angel sold, K family. You got it. Ten bucks plus five shipping. Let me write it down. Um, I do. It, I, I I still believe now with the live streams because I'm used to just pre-recording videos. Um, I think that there is a lag of thirty seconds, maybe even forty-five seconds. I believe. So anyway, Angel's lot. Put it aside for K family rips. So there we go. Okay, giant slot. Uh, I hope we're prepared. The giant slot is huge. I mean, it's huge. It's like a hundred cards. So let me go through all the cards. Um, it's going to be fifteen dollars plus five dollars shipping. Fifteen dollars plus five dollars shipping, um, unless you've already purchased another lot, in which case the shipping is not is free. Well, it's not free, but it's already built into the thing. So it would be twenty total dollars for a first time purchaser. Um, I know I'm explaining it like people are idiots, but I, I just keeps it. Uh... Anyway, here we go. So this is your giant slot. If anyone wanted it before I got done flipping, type in giants sold. We have a Brandon Crawford uh, refractor from Topps Chrome, which is already bending. Like they already bend. Uh, Samarja orange parallel from Big League. Got a Jalen Davis. Got a Steven Gug Duggar rated rookie from Optic. Another Duggar. Another one. There's going to be a lot of dupes, by the way, of different kinds. Got a a Wong from Gypsy Queen, Garcia, Bergen, another Duggar, a Shaw. There's a lot of uh, random rookie cards. And then you go back here to a Liriano Bowman Chrome. I think this is 2000, 2002. We got um, Sean Anderson from 2019, Shaw. We got this Santiago Casilla from, I think this is 2012. It's a, I think it's called, I don't know if it's called a gold parallel. Um, Bo Posey. Uh, Posey insert, another Posey. We're doing a lot of Posey in here, guys. Uh, Arroyo, Yastrzemski Future Stars, a couple of those. Rodriguez, another Arroyo. Juan Marichal, Jalen Davis, Keon Wong, Logan Webb. We're only halfway through the giant slot. Um, there's a bunch. I know a lot of them are just kind of like base rookies. But you know what? You never know when someone might break out. Got uh, Francisco Peguero, Zach Green. Really going back. Uh, Johnny Leemaster. Scott Geralt, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Evan Longoria from National Baseball Card Day. Zach Green, we got a Dubon Bowman base. Second one of those. Tyler Henneman, Chrome rookie. One, two, three. Uh, Zach Green rookies from Update. A couple of Canes from Gowdy, 2008. Anoa Lowry, a Andrew Suarez, Blue Parallel. Whew. Hold on, I got to make room. I wasn't joking when I said there's a lot of Giants cards. Another Tyler Henneman, one, two of the Zach Green. Another Dubon, two, three. Uh, Dan Runsler, rookie card. Eugenio Velez, a uh, Keon Wong, Holiday, Yastrzemski, and this is one of those metallic snowflakes that has a texture. A couple of stickers. Uh, we have a Barry Bonds Studio. Got a regular Barry Bonds from Studio. Chadwick Trump got a couple of his rookie cards. Tyler Henneman again, another Chadwick Trump, uh, another Zach Green rookie. Got a Tim Lincecum rookie. This is in like 2007 Turkey Red. McCovey insert, Buster Posey, 70 years from Series One. Uh, Will Clark, no, another Zach Green, a couple more Hennemans. We actually have a uh, yellow parallel Walgreens Henneman. A Donovan Solano yellow parallel from Walgreens. Faces of the franchise. A uh, Jonathan Sanchez, Darren Ford, and a finally another Dan Runslow. So if anyone wanted the San Francisco Giants pack, all those, like whatever, 75 cards, it would be 15 bucks uh, plus five shipping unless you already bought one pack for me. And then uh, type in Giants sold. You have all the recent ones. Looking for high-end Brandon Crawford. I can't help you with that. Um, I get that. Um, I don't really have any hands. I'm not. I have mostly uh, regular stuff. 
But if anyone other than Aggie with five subs, if anyone wants the giant slot, um, let me know. Giant sold. If not, if anyone has any requests, I don't know if Trucker Tim's back for the Yankees or the Mets. But if anyone has any other teams they want, they want. Uh, otherwise, I could just do random teams, or I could start open to some packs. If you guys want to see some packs open, you guys let me know. I am I, my afternoon is free. I'm fine opening packs. I'm fine doing an unboxing. Um, honestly, it's just cool having you guys hang out with me on part of your Saturday. Um, but oh, sorry, I hit my camera. Anyway, let me know. Um, any other requests for teams? Otherwise, I'll. I'll start opening some packs of stuff. Okay. In the meantime, while I'm waiting, if for anyone to have any requests, um, I have this this box of uh, 2000 Bowman Chrome draft picks and prospects that I've been sitting on. I want to open it up and, and see what's in there. And uh, it could be a lot of fun just to check it out. And then I have, like I said, some promo packs that I can open on up. And if at any time you guys decide another team you want me to go through, I will be happy to do that. Because, uh, you know, I'm a happy kind of dude. I'm a happy kind of dude. Anyway, let me... Um, okay, so uh, uh, I'll be on the lookout of the chat window. Otherwise, in the meantime, I'm going to go through this, uh, this set. And then I have some packs, just like some random packs to open up. Goodness gracious. Um, but yeah, like I have, uh, I have Mets, I have Yankees, I have... Uh, what else? I have tons of Nationals. I have tons of Rockies. I have tons of uh, Diamondbacks. All those kind of. I have tons. Just avalanche of them. So we can get back to the card still at any time. In the meantime, here is what 2000 Bowman Chrome draft picks and prospects look like. This is the first time I have seen this particular... Oh, they are they all going to be bricked? Oh, no. They're all going to be bricked. Oh, no. There's a John Roch right on the top. Let me get some sleeves, and let me see if I can unbrick some of this without actually destroying them. Um, Adrian Gonzalez was the number one draft pick that year, but I, off the top of my head, cannot remember... Uh, let me see. Look at look at this brick, by the way. Look at that. Okay. We have a Raphael. There's a name I remember. Pat Burrell, Raphael for call. Man, Brick City. Okay, let me see if I can unbrick them a little bit before. Uh... See, I probably should have opened it before because I didn't. I honestly, though. Oh, there we go. There's a name I know. Barry Zito. Barry Zito, underappreciated. There we go. Let me sleeve up that Zito. It's a cool looking design from that year. Barry Zito. I was definitely not correct. Uh, correcting. I wasn't correcting, but I definitely wasn't collecting back then either. In 2000, I was busy doing other stuff. Julio Zaleta. Nick Green, man, a lot of names, a lot of, a lot of guys that got drafted that I am not particularly familiar with. Man, stick, stick a palooza. We got an Eric Munson. God, am I, uh, am I just not recognizing a lot of these names? Sorry. Oh, that one's bricked, like really bricked together. Jason Tyner. When I used to watch videos of people saying, oh, this is bricked, I was like, is it really that bad? Oh, yeah, it is. It really is that bad. You can hear it as it's um, detaching. Luckily, it's not destroying any of the cards. Can you imagine if there was a draft pick card? It's not this year, but can you imagine if there was like a Trout? Uh, there's a Mark Mulder. Recognize that name. Are all the big names going to be former uh, Oakland Athletics pitchers? There's a Mulder to go with the Zito. Surface 3.5. Uh, <laughs> is that your PSA reference or your Beckett reference? Thank you for bearing with. There's a Jason Marquis. Yeah, I do recognize that name. Thank you for bearing with me. Here's the thing: I could have pre-opened it, but it's been sealed. Like I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Like it, I don't know. I wanted to feel spontaneous, but 
I wonder if there's, is there like a search engine? Um, is there, is there a search engine for bricked, like the most bricked sets that you can kind of just reference um, just off the top? God, you could hear that. Man, look at that. You know what's crazy though? There's so many of these people and I'm not trying to make fun of them. Jorge, how can't you? I remember. Um, and your, your Victoria, I remember, but like amazing how many people got drafted and I do not, I'm not familiar. Like I'm not even vaguely familiar with them, which means that they may have played only like a year or they, maybe they just never saw the majors at all. But yeah, Eddie Furness, fire up the, the old stove. Like I said, while I'm um, going with this, uh, I know I've mentioned it like eight or nine times, but people kind of keep coming and going. Uh, if there's any teams you want to see for the live card sale, I still have tons of teams left. I only went through about four of them. So if you guys are interested, I have a bunch. Like I have tons of A's and Rockies and Diamondbacks. And uh, who else do I have? Braves, Mets, Yankees, Red Sox. Every time I say Red Sox, I have to say it, I have to say it that way. Red Sox. Come on. Wowzers, McYowzers. Well, to be fair, in case you're wondering, because I'd like to do the full disclosure thing, um, I paid I paid twenty two dollars for this entire set, twenty two bucks, and that included shipping. So, Ching Fuen Chen, twenty two bucks. So, still fun, still fun. It'll be more fun when I unbrick them. Um, and I do have some packs that are one hundred percent not bricked. It'd be nice if I had heard of a little more of these people, though. Who, wait, wait a minute. Since when Mil Milton Bradley got drafted by uh, drafted by the Montreal Expos? I didn't realize that. Milton Bradley, Brian O'Connor. Honestly, though, I know you made your, your PSA reference. Oh, there's the Adrian Gonzalez. Let me get it off the... Uh, oh, my God. He looks like he's like 10 years old in this picture. Let me sleeve that up. Adrian Gonzalez. That's, that's probably the biggest... Uh, it doesn't like that sleeve for some reason. It's probably the biggest card in the um, in the entire set. Adrian Gonzalez. Anyway, I don't remember Milton Bradley being. I'm an Expos fan. I do not remember him being drafted by my team. Um, but he maybe we traded him really early on or something before he made it. Yikes! <sighs> Gross. Well, now you know. If you see any um, any two thousand. Chrome draft picks. You're in for some unbricking. Honestly, though, I still think that if you were to grade them, they'd probably not grade terribly. But you know, don't, don't quote me on that. But who's out there grading Adrian Gonzalez? Um, I'm going to take off, gentlemen um, and ladies, if any. Yeah, ha thank you for joining us, Cerberus. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Um, like I said, there's going to be some packs that I'm going to be opening. Uh, I don't know if I'll still be on or not. But take care. It's always great having people stop by. There you go, Egg. Mike Glendening. Do you remember him from your uh, for your San Francisco Giants? Chad Durbin. Um, you know what? I might start. You know what? I'm going to start opening packs because the unbricking is just. Not, I'll, I'll go through this in a different video at some other point um, when I have unbricked the entire set because it's it's becoming less. Um, we'd still get a GMA ten. <laughs> Do people use that service? Um, SGC is the one that I had considered, but I heard that SGC just started chart. They're like doubling their prices. I'm like, if you're PSA, you can get away with doubling your prices because your cards sell for a ton. But, uh, SGC was anyway, still get a GMA. You do not. Anyway. Yeah. So let me go on to some packs because let's be honest. There's only, uh, so much fun involved in unbreaking cards. And that fun is not here. So. Let's go to packs and see what we can get. I, I have some random stuff I purchased off the internet, which, let's be honest, is always super fun. And when I say random, I'm not joking. Um, so yes, they do, and it's annoying to see good cards in GMA slabs. SGC is dope, though. Yeah, if SGC had to double the prices, maybe I would have said uh, so done it. Anyway, so we have some random promo packs. These are all from 2016. Um, these are some Bowman promo packs. I don't know if there's anything good is going to be in any of them. Um, there is a pro debut of Dansby Swanson. There's a pro debut of Clint Frazier. 
pro debut of Key Brian Hayes. A random is Jubal Cabrera. Um, this is, I think, Wacky Packs. I got some Bowman here. Let me separate the Wacky Packs. Got some Bowman here. And then this, these are 2016 Corey Seegers. And some more Bowman. So it could just be an absolute bust, but we shall see. Um, I don't know about you, but I've never opened a lot of these. So let us get to the magic. SGC equals, uh, SGC dis equals discounted PSA. Cheat. Yeah, it is. Most people, um, most people went to SGC just because um, it was so much cheaper and they could get a good turnaround. Oh, I didn't realize this here. So these are wacky packages, but they're baseball teams. So there's, there's the Blue Jays, the A's, Road Game Ice Cream with the Rockies. There's a Dodger Sushi Box. Sticker. I didn't realize they made these. Who knew? Um, yeah, but once PSA, um, I have so many PC cards that I got in FC Slabs for like 30 to 40% off. I hear you. Um, a lot of people that do the grading thing, there's a Houston uh, Astros, Cardinals, batting cage, free eggs. Yeah, if you want, if you just care more about the uh, the PC part of it and not the, the long-term value part of it, then you can get... You can get those SGC ones at a super discount because there's a lot of like flipper type people, investor type people, you know, that uh, also, if you if you don't mind getting a uh, Biloxi Shucklers, um, if you don't mind getting like a nine, especially like honestly, you can get a nine for like the same price as a rock card most of the time. Of course, it's not going to like have a huge like long-term value, but I mean, if you just want to have it in a slab, why not? Bench fries, low-quality potatoes, they'll never make it to the plate. Bowling Green Hot Rods. Honestly, I don't even know where these um, paint the corners and shellac the competition. I don't remember Wacky Packages making these cards, but I only have a couple of them and then go to back to actual baseball cards. You know, I paid for them, might as well look at them. Maybe I'll throw them into like a team pack for one of my breaks in the future. Why not? Um, Brewers home plate brewed coffee, big juice at big apple juice for the Yankees, iron pigs, pork jerky, and Orioles feather dusters. Anyway, back to the actual thing. Uh, we have seven people here. You guys let me know. Um, if you want a team, if you want me to pull out a team pack, if you just want to see what it looks like. I mean, I got cards to flip through. Um, but yeah, I have about 10 of these packs. I think they're all pro debut. I'm not sure. You guys let me know. Do, do, do pro debut cards like keep any value? For example, Danzy Swanson. Um, he was at the time playing for the Hillsborough Hops. The Hillsborough Hops. Blows my mind how many people would pay $250 more for US 310 than a nine. Yeah, people, because you know what? I think that um, so one of the people. Oh, hello. Gary Sanchez rookie card. Um, Jake Thompson, I think, you know, one of the gurus, I'll call them gurus said that it's 10 or bust. And so nines, like no one cares. That's cool. Gary Sanchez, rookie Bowman. Didn't realize I could get one of those. And, uh, what is it? Bowman baseball is the only trading card brand that features prospects in their major league uniforms. Well, there you go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? Maybe one day, oh, well, here's the thing. A lot of people are comparing everything to Trout. But, like, what if the player um, explodes? Then having a nine um, will still hold a lot of value, probably. So you're really smart to pick things up. Let, uh, let other people pay the grading and having to deal with, what is it, the terrible turnaround time. And then you pick it up on the, on the, uh, on the rebound. So Clint Frazier, who at the time was with the – Cleveland Indians affiliate and the Lynchburg Hillcats. And he is now, I think, going to be starting for the Yankees. There's his pro debut. Actually, is that his pro debut card? I think it doesn't say pro debut, but I think it is. And Wilson uh, Contreras, who was playing with the Tennessee Smokies. And he is, of course, with the um, egg. Got to go. Nice talking to you. Well, thank you so much for joining. I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said, who a Bregman first Bowman. Hello. Wow. Who knew I bought these packs? I paid like 10 bucks for these promo packs. Egg, thank you so much for stopping by. By the way, go subscribe to Egg. Uh, get him to 100,000. It'd be fantastic. Look at this. I know Bregman.
first Bowman would have been a lot bigger a couple years ago before the old cheating. Um, but still, first Bowman and Bregman. Like I said, I paid, I like to tell you, like I paid like 10 bucks for these packs. Um, I, did, I had no idea. I thought that they could be complete garbage. Um, it says we still have six people here. Let me know if you're still here. Nice break. Okay, family, you're still here. I don't know. Have you ever seen these before? Like, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I buy things on the internet sometimes. And honestly, it's like a 10 or $20 kind of gamble. And you have no idea what it's going to be like. Okay, Brian Hayes, I believe he may have a rookie card in Series 2 of this year. I think that they held him back. Um, Warcraft, Ohio, thank you for joining us. So let me just do some shout-outs here. Give me a break. K Family Rips has a channel. Go subscribe. I mean, no, you don't have to, but I would prefer if you did. Egg with 5,000 subs. Actually, has, I think, like 32,000 subs. But go subscribe to him. Sobrero's Family Budget Breaks. I don't know if he's still here. I think he left, but go subscribe to him. Trucker Tim came and went, but he has a channel as well. Warcraft, Ohio. Um, so, yeah, feel free to go subscribe to one another. Like I said, I don't know anyone who says I have too many um, subscribers. There's a Trey Turner rookie card from Bowman. A's fan, Jim. Howdy. Thanks for joining us. Um, so what started out as a card sale is me opening packs. But if there are any teams that you would uh, be interested in possibly purchasing, uh, you're an A's fan, so I could pull out the A's pack um, if you want, and I could show you what's in it, and maybe you'd be interested. If there's any other teams, feel free. I uh, The Phillies sold and the... Dodger, let me. I have it written down. Philly sold, the Angels sold. Um, but other than that, the other 28 teams are available. I have tons of A's cards. Um, so if you are interested in buying, feel free. If you just want to watch, um, I am going to be opening these packs for the meantime. But like I said, Jesse Winker, if you uh, if you're interested in buying, let me know. I can drop everything and uh, go there. Or Craft Ohio, you do sales Saturday nights, 11 p.m. Eastern. Also, A's fan Jim, let me know if you have a channel. Uh, we can probably get you some subscribers. Warcraft Ohio obviously has a channel. Um, there's a Mauer and a Nick Gordon. So our run of pulling rookie cards out of these promo packs has ended, but you never know. It may pick up. 2016, I feel like, is a really underrated year. Corey Seager was in it. Um, Trey Turner was in it. I don't know why. I don't know why, like, uh, Corey Seager just won MVP in the World Series. Like, I don't know why his card's worth very little. There's a Zimmerman, there's a Jubal Cabrera. They used to be teammates when they won the World Series. Has, has anyone played for more teams, by the way, than as Jubal Cabrera? I mean, Mets, uh, Cleveland, Rays, Nationals. He's now with the Diamondbacks. Zimmerman, meanwhile, has only played with one team his entire career. Cabrian Hayes. Again, we got a second one. I sure would. Oh, there's a Tim Anderson. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, if these pro debut cards hold a lot of value. But, I mean, it doesn't hurt to get a Tim Anderson of the Birmingham Barons. Anyway, super cool. Like I said, you guys could be doing anything on your Saturday. So the fact that you've been spending any time with me is super cool and appreciated. Put this in the stack. Got a couple more of these and we have different other promo packs that I bought on the internet. Red Sox card collector, Dan McGraw. Thank oh, let me, uh, so I'm, I was opening promo packs. Let me go back to the card sale. Basically, uh, I was going through teams. And uh, I kind of stopped because it kind of died out. So I'll pull up the Red Sox pack. And if the A's fan, Jim, um, wants to see the A's pack, I can show you as well. If you guys are interested in other teams, I mean, just pull it out. And then I will get back to opening the packs. Um, so Red Sox is what I got. Let me pull it out. I have a 3,200 count box that's like bouncing, on, not bouncing, but uh, balancing on my knee at the moment. And so I am going to pull all the stuff out and try not to drop it because then I'll cry if I drop it. Um, so here is the red socks. Let me get it all out at once. So it is $5, um, for shipping, regardless of how many it's $5 for the first purchase. And then it's no additional shipping for any additional purchase. I just need the $5 so I can get a tracking number. Um, and the red socks pack would be $15 plus the five. So it'd be $20 total. Let me go through the entire. Does the Yankees have any Jeters in it? Let me take a look. Uh, let me get through it. So we're going to do the Red Sox and then A's fan, Jim, I'll do A's and then Warcraft, Ohio. I'll go through the Yankees. Off the top of my head, I'm not quite sure, but let me take a look. We'll take a look. So it's a mixture of years. Here's the Red Sox pack. Uh, we have Clay Buckholtz, rookie card from Upper Deck. Uh, Ortiz from Update Chrome. We have Pink Refractor of Pedro Martinez from Update Chrome, the regular base card. 
Uh, that's an Orioles card, so what's that doing in there? Uh, we got an old 1988 with the bad corner of Roger. The older ones I picked up at a thrift store, so they're not in the best condition. We got Jim Rice. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Mookie bets from 2019 National Baseball Card Day. We got a Carlos Quintana. Got a Brian Mata from Bowman. Uh, Mookie Betts, Luis Mendoza, uh, Dustin Richardson. We got this Ted Williams um, short print from 2018. Got a Darwin's and Hernandez rookie card pink from 19 Chrome. We have this Ted Williams isolated power die cut from Topps Chrome. All star game of Bobby Pointer rookie card. A first Bowman of Colbrin Vitek. 93 studio of Mo Vaughn. 1990 of. Uh, Bogs, a bunch of stickers. Uh, got an Andre Dawson, who I don't remember ever playing for the Red Sox. I don't remember that. Got a 93 Studio Heritage of uh, Roger Clemens. Ben Intendi, 2017 rookie card. And then a Josh Naylor. Um, honestly, you know what? I could do 10, I could do 10 bucks for the uh, Red Sox lot and then $5 shipping. Um, the highlights are basically like, you know, the Ted Williams die cut, Darwin's in and the Ted Williams. Um, if anyone's interested in the Red Sox, type in um, Red Sox sold. If not, in the meantime, I'll pull out the uh, the Oakland Athletics and then I will take a look at that Yankees. So I think there's a delay in the chat. But yeah, if you want the Red Sox, I give you $10 plus $5 shipping is a 15 total. For anyone, you type in Red Sox sold in the chat and you can claim it. Let me pull out the A's lot and then i will do the yankees and then if not i will go back to the uh the usual pack openings but anyway thank you for coming by uh let me know the a's lots of a's got a huge the a's selection is huge um so let me pull out all the a's cards and then let me pull out the yankees one So the A's one is all these, is the, is the A's pack. I have tons of that. And the Yankees one, I'll get it ready as well. I don't see if there's any Jeters. Any Jetersbergs. Okay, so there's that. And uh, anyway, so Red Sox collector, are you interested? Yes or no? If you're not, it's totally fine. Um, Obviously, it's totally fine. Oh, just let me know. Uh, if, I don't, if I don't see anyone claim um, Red Sox sold in the next, like, 10 seconds, then I'll go on to the A's lot. You have a Warcraft Ohio. You have 1,100 Jeter cards. Well, congratulations. That is impressive. That is really impressive. Anyway, so it looks like the, the Red Sox lot. Um, didn't draw interest. That's totally cool. Um, let me do the A's lot and see if uh, Jim wants it. Hello, Adam's Card Closet. We're going to do the A's and then we're going to do the Yankees. And then if you're interested, um, we uh, can do the Braves. Uh, I've been opening. Just just want to show you. Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit later. Um, anyway, so if anyone wants the A's lot, it's going to be $15 plus $5 shipping. So $20 total, unless you have already um purchased a lot in which case it'll just be fifteen dollars the first person to write a's um sold would be able would claim it let me go through the entire three stacks i'm not joking it's like 150 cards if you guys are interested it's a huge mix from 93 all the way to bowman last year there might even be some 2021 so we got henderson we got a couple of stickers we have uh mcguire eckersley piazza as an athletic go figure um Upper Deck Legends, Carson Blair, got a Z, got two Zito rookies from the year 2000. From Ginter, we got Kitsika, sorry, we got three Zito rookies. We have one, two, three, we have four um, Bowman Chrome of Josh Donaldson. Uh, we have, oh, sorry, I apologize. Sheldon Noyce, uh, Noisy from Archives, Jesus Lazardo, Austin Beck, Green Camo from Bowman. Uh, a couple of Sean Murphy rookies from Bowman, Seth Brown, AJ Puck from Chrome, Sheldon Noisy from Chrome, Sean Murphy, uh, Refractor of Simeon, another Refractor of Simeon, 
two more Luzardos. Um, Ramon Laureano, Refractor, Lazardo, Seth Brown, and we got more. We got tons more. We got tons of ace cards. Um, Luzardo Bowman Scouts, two more freshman flashes, uh, two regular Chrome rookies, uh, the 84 or 85, sorry, the Murphy, Noisy, Lazardo, Puck, more. Um, got a Logan Davidson Bowman Chrome, a Jorge Mateo Bowman Chrome. Nick Allen, Brad Kilby, Derek Barton, Mike Piazza, Carson Rodriguez, Tyson Ross, Derek Barton, Jerry Blevins, Chris Bassett, uh, Luzardo, uh, Holiday rookie, uh, James Capriellian, two of them actually from 2021, Matt Chapman insert from 2021, uh, Chrome Update, another Chapman, uh, Luzardo from this year, another Chapman. I think I pulled, like, yep, I pulled four of them, pulled a bunch of them as it turns out. Uh, another Luzardo, uh, Bruce Boti from 85. It's not in great condition, though. Uh, McGuire. Whew, we're not even done with the ace pack yet. It's just still more. Whew. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 of 2009 National Baseball Card Day, Matt Chapman's. Got a Sky Bolt rainbow foil. Um, you'll be back in five minutes. Awesome. Um, rookie debut of Luzardo, a Sean Murphy rookie debut. A red um, target of, of the A's, Scott Brocious rookie from Flair Ultra, another Scott Brocious, Matt Chapman, Josh Donaldson from 2015, and Reggie Jackson from Stadium Club, and a whole bunch of Gaudi cards from 2008 Upper Deck, uh, Decades Best, Franchise Feats, a regular AJ Puck rookie, a Nick Martini rookie, Cespedes Chrome, fifth Matt Chapman there. Uh, Reggie Jackson, 70th anniversary. And then we're coming down the home stretch, kids. These are all gold star parallels. It is the, in, there's a Seth Brown rookie, gold star. Future stars of Loriano. I think it's the, I believe it's the entire team set. Um, and the big ones there are the Sean Murphy, gold parallel rookie, AJ Puck, Sheldon Noisy, and Jesus Luzardo. There you go. Ace Fan Gym sold. All right. So it's uh, 15 plus five shipping. So that's 20 bucks. Uh, the way to reach out to me, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. I should have, I believe I put it in the description of this video, but it's Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. I have it in the about section of my channel for sure. But send me an email. Tell me your Ace Fan Gym. And uh, it's PayPal Goods and Services. And then I will send all of these Oakland Athletics cards. Out to you. So let me type it in. Ace fan. Uh, A's, Ace fan gym. Of course you like the A's. Well, like if you're an Ace fan gym and you like the Cardinals, I would I would be very 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 um. It's in the description. Okay, good. So send me an email, and then I uh, my uh, PayPal uh, my PayPal email is also Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com and use goods and services. Um, cause always, you know, you want the, you want the, uh, buyer protection no matter what. So yeah, 20 bucks to also, when you send me your email, let me know your mailing address. Very important that I know your mailing address is otherwise how will I know how to get the cards to you. So next up, Warcraft, War, Warcraft, slow down, Kev. uh, Warcraft, Ohio wanted to know about cheaters. I'll just go through the entire Yankees pack. Um, I pulled this actually yesterday. This die cut of Reggie Jackson out of Series 1. Um, so it's some older stuff. We got some Goose Gossage. Just so you know, the older stuff, I, I purchased at a thrift store. So it's not in the best condition. I'm just going to let you know ahead of time. Um, got two Garrett Coles from uh, Series 1. Got a whole bunch of Glaber Days. Got a Wade Boggs. I'm not, I do not believe there's any Jeters. But... Um, Paul O'Neill, Mattingly, another Mattingly. But we do have a Luis Severino Bowman Chrome rookie card. Anyway, Luis Severino Bowman Chrome, Dom Domingo German, a uh, Bowman Chrome of Luis Gill, Ian Kennedy, Ross Ohlendorf, uh, and then a Joba Jabba Chamberlain. Yeah, so um, I could do 10 bucks plus five shipping, unless, I mean, 10 bucks and then five shipping if you haven't purchased before um so 15 total or if you purchased before then it'll be 10 bucks total for the yankees lot if anyone wants it there is no jeters in there 
Um, but if you want it, type in Yankee sold. If not, then uh, if anyone else has any other teams that they want, let me know. Otherwise, I'll go back to open up the packs. I can show you a, a recap um, of cool stuff that we have pulled so far. In the meantime, while I'm waiting on Yankee sold or Yankees not sold, I can continue to unbreak a little bit of this this uh, this crazy break. I bought. I was going through it earlier, but I bought this 2000 draft pick set without realizing that the cards were just like bricked like crazy. So if anyone wants the old uh, Yankees tip and Yankees sold, if not, I will move on. Michael Heath, thank you for stopping by. I'm not here. I'm not sure if you are here just to hang out, which is totally cool because I always love it when people hang out. Or if uh, you're interested in buying, if you are interested in buying, let me know what team you might or might not be interested in. And if you're just here to hang out, that is super cool, like I said. Because, uh, you know, it's Saturday afternoon, or actually for a lot of people, it's Saturday dinner time. So just just tear for a bit. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I can go back to opening some packs because I have packs to open. Uh, by the way, if you've never seen the 2000 Bowman draft picks set, here are some of the highlights. The, uh, the big number one draft pick that year was Adrian Gonzalez. He looks like he's about 15 in this card. Uh, there was also a Mark Mulder and a Barry Zito that I have from that. There's obviously more cards. I have to unbreak them. It's uh, really just really disheartening, really disheartening um, that they were so bricked up. But that's just how it goes. So it looks like no one wants the Yankees lot, which is totally fine. Like I said, if anyone else wants a lot, that's cool. Otherwise... This is what I pulled for some preview. So I have these random preview packs that I purchased off the internet. Most of these are pro debuts, but we pulled a Tim Anderson pro debut, a Key Brian Hayes pro debut. We had a Trey Turner Bowman rookie card, another Key Brian Hayes, a first Bowman of Alex Bregman, a rookie card of Steven Piscotti, a Wilson Contreras pro debut, a Clint Frazier pro debut, a Gary Sanchez, Gary Sanchez rookie and a uh, pro debut of Dansby Swanson. So that's what I pulled out of the preview packs. Adam's card closet. Thank you for joining us once again. By the way, Michael, did you mention if you have a channel? Um, Ace fan Jim, do you have a channel too? Uh, Warcraft Ohio does have a channel. K Family Rips does have one. Adam's card closet definitely has one. Um, go subscribe to each other if you feel like it. It'd be fantastic. Um, Ace fan, Jim, I don't know if you've emailed me yet. Um, yep. Uh, oh, so Jim, if you could, yeah, there it is. Okay, never mind. I got a delay in my thing. So Adam, um, let me go through. Yeah, Michael Heath, go subscribe to Michael Heath as well. I'm sure everyone, uh, let me take a breath. <sighs> anyway, Adam, I don't know if you're here just to, um, I did just see that Ace fan, Jim, thank you so much. After the stream is over, I'll start packing everything up and address, label it. The plan is to send these cards out on Monday because obviously tomorrow is Sunday and the post office is closed. So on Monday, I will be sending the cards out and get the tracking numbers and email. So yeah, Ace Fan Jim does have a camp channel, so go subscribe as well. Uh, Adam, I'm not sure if you're here to just hang out or to buy. If you're here to buy, let me know. I have a Braves pack. I have other I have other team packs. Um, I have Dansby Swanson lot. I have uh, Ozzy Albies lot. Um, so you let me know. Um, actually, you know what? I also have some Chipper Jones cards that I picked up at the, uh, at the thrift store that I can go through. If you didn't catch the beginning of this video, I went to the thrift store, not the thrift store, the, uh, what's it called? The antique mall. And I got, I picked up some really cool cards from the antique mall from someone who just obviously wanted to clear house. Um, and I was more than happy to help him clear house. Um, okay, let me go through the days. So I, I, at the beginning of the video, I went through. So I picked this up at the Antique Mall for $5. This, my friend, is a, is a Ryan Mountcastle 2018 autograph. So isn't that crazy? The guy was just selling it for 5 bucks, And I thought, yes, please, sign me up. Um, you kidding? Mountcastle. Uh, hold on one second. I'm getting together all the Braves stuff. So I have a Braves lot. I have an Ozzy Albies lot separately. I have a um, Chipper collection. I have uh, 
What's the other stuff I have? So I'm gonna get it all together and I'll show it to you. And uh, isn't that crazy? Like I don't know what happened. You know what? They pulled it obviously, and then they, they put it away, and they thought, oh, Mount Castle is never gonna amount to anything. I don't know why they thought that, but um, but clearly they were incorrect. Clearly they were incorrect because he has a rookie card in series one. And uh, now that I own an autograph, I am rooting, even though I'm not even uh, an Orioles fan, I am rooting for the guy and I am rooting for the guy hard. Um, anyway, yeah, I looked it up on eBay when I came home and uh, turns out it's worth like, people are selling it for like 89 bucks already. Um, anyway, let me get all the British stuff together. Thank you everyone for bearing with me as as uh, I put would would move my camera, but I have like a thirty two count box uh, separated into team lots, like sitting right next to me. And every time I bend over to try to pick it up, I think, oh my goodness, please do not have this. Please do not have it all tip over, or please don't have me fall out of my chair because that would be super impressive. So um, we do have all these Braves coming up. Um, did that with the Russell Wilson. You drop. Oh, you you got a Russell Wilson um, from the, the antique mall, or you dropped a, a Russell Wilson from at the. Did you drop one? Because that would be terrible. All right. So we got Dansby Swanson. I don't know if you only want Chipper, but I pull out all the Braves cards that I have. Um, and uh, there we go. Old man grown, forty year old zero. So as far as the actual Chippers. Um, this is what I got in far, as far as chippers. Oh, here. So this is what I got at the Antique Mall. I was able to pull up this John Smoltz from 89. Got this chipper, um, Pinnacle 97. A Pinnacle, whatever year that is. The Upper Deck rookie card that has, like, interesting corners. Um, uh, Fleer Tradition chipper. You probably already have all these. There's a Future Stars of Dansby Swanson Collegiate Edition. Um, Michael Heath, I didn't realize you were a Braves fan. Uh, Tehran got a David Justice Smoltz. Thank you for mentioning that. I did wasn't I wasn't clear on uh, and a Dale Murphy. So yeah, we can we can do we could do the the square off to see. Um, so let me do. I have um, so I got a Swanson pack. So are you guys both interested or one? Let me go through what I have. So this is the Braves pack that I have. Uh, Shea Langoliers Bowman Chrome. Uh, Reed Gorecki, we have a Josh, a lot of it's random stuff. We got a Jason Hayward rookie. We have an Adam Wainwright Bowman Chrome. There's a chipper from Upper Deck. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 uh, Acuna from National Baseball Card Day 2019. Really old, bad corners, Paul Casanova. Dale Murphy with rough corners. Um, we got Deion Sanders here, a uh, Ryan Klesko rookie. Whew. Um, so a lot of these old, um, a lot of these old ones have rough corners just because the thrift store, thrift store person didn't, we got two more Wainwrights and another Wainwright, Andrew Jones. I think this is a rookie from Bowman. Got an Acuna, a couple of stickers, a Steve Avery, another Avery, an Albies, Justice, Tom Glavin, Pendleton, Maddox, Smoltzy, Ron Gant. There's a Freddie Freeman, a Kent Mercer. So there's a lot of mix of old and new. Then we have Power Zone Acuna. Got the insert from Chrome. This one is a refractor from Chrome. Kyle Wright rated rookie, Graffinino, and Clint Simmons. Then we have individual packs of, um, we have the Dansby Swanson Pro Debut. Here's some more Swansons. We got Bowman Chrome rookie from 2017. A second one of those. A uh, three tops Chrome rookies from 2017 then we have was that five five freshman flash dansby's um regular bowman paper and two more chrome so there's like what 15 dansby swanson rookies and then we move on to our buddy um our buddy uh ozzy albies we have two of the ledges in the making two of the stadium clubs and um bowman platinum international affair and a tops gallery. If either of you are interested, I could do um, for all of it. I wasn't planning on doing all of it at once, but I, I'll do it. Why not? Um, I could do it for all like $35, including shipping. 
Um, there's a ton, as you see, there's a ton of, um, ton of Swansons, ton of Alvies. There's some chippers. There's, um, Swanson pro debut. There's like a weird, um, let me find it here. There's the Acuna refractor, a bunch of Acunas. The one, the one Swanson is, um, where is it? I had it in, I had it in the pack. I showed, it's like a collegiate one and I'd never even heard of it. Let me find it. But let me know if you're interested. If you're interested, type in Braves um, sold. It would be $35 total. What happened to the, um, let me find it. And if you're not interested, that's cool too, obviously, you know. I'm not putting a gun to anyone's head. But that's, let me see if I can find it. Oh, maybe, I think it's in here. That's where it is. There it is. There's a Future Stars 2015 Dansby Swanson Collegiate Edition that I've never seen before in my entire life. Um, just for the Albies, uh, let me let me see, let me look at the Albies again. Honestly, I could do all. You know what? I could send you. I send you the Albies for like ten bucks if you want. If you're interested, I could send it to you for ten bucks. Um, let me know. And then Michael Heath, if you would like the um, if you like the rest of the stuff. I could, I could sell it all to you for like 30 bucks if you're interested in it. Um, let me know. If not, I'll, I could put it all back. Sold for 10 bucks. Okay, Adam, you sent me an email. Um, you lost a bid last year on that Swanson. So let me write it down. Albies, 10 buckarooskies for Adam's card closet. Um, and Michael Heath, um, like I said, if anyone wants... Um, the other, the entire rest of the stack of Brave stuff for for thirty bucks. Let me know. Type in Brave sold. If not, then uh, we can move on. If anyone has any other teams, otherwise I'll go back to open up packs because opening packs is a lot of fun. Let me know in the next uh, forty five seconds or so. Okay, I'm good right now. Trying to hold off and buying anything. I hear you. I am trying. I like to get packs. So anyway, there's your Braves. Um, and let me get back to the packs. Uh, and if anyone else joins in at some point, that's too super cool too. Let me know. So anyway, we have more promo packs. We'll see what we can pull. So these are the promo packs. We have already pulled, um, like I said, Gary Sanchez, rookie, Clint Frazier, Contreras, Piscotti, Bregman, Cabrian Hayes, Trey Turner, and Tim Anderson. A lot of them are pro debuts. I honestly... Have not looked up to see if pro debuts hold any value whatsoever. Um, Adam, just feel free to uh, email me. You have my email, and then um, and then I can shoot me over the old PayPal, and then I will pack it up. And it's like I said, on Monday, big time Monday. You're very welcome, my friend. Um, try also try not to work like 800 hours a week like you've been doing. Um, I'm maybe you don't want me sharing that, but uh, so. Javi Guerra, we have a James Capriellian, who, by the way, has a rookie card as an Oakland Athletic in uh, Series 1. We have a Jake Arrieta and a Josh Naylor. So that was a bummer of a pack. Um, but you know what? They can't all be winners. There's a reason that that's a saying. Anyway, like I said, it's, it's cool opening packs. I bought these as, as like a lot. On, like I, said, I think it was two or three lots that I bought. Thank you for joining us, Michael Heath. I really do appreciate it. Um, Whoever is still around, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, like I said before, there's a Soroka. You know what, Adam, if you're still here, I can uh, throw in that Soroka here for you. Um, let me put it in the lot. Soroka! But yeah, so um, I'm the boss. Have to lead by example. <laughs> lead by example. So you have to lead by example by working 80 hours a week. By the way, have you gotten your... Um, you're, well, you're, you're welcome. By the way, have you gotten... I could look at the tracking number I sent you, but have you gotten the stuff that I sent you the other day? Um, probably not, but because it's it usually takes a while. So there's a first Bowman uh, yellow parallel of Tukey to Sunt. I don't even know who... I don't even know if he has a team right now. Um, I think he played with the Braves briefly for like a sip of coffee. There's an Edmund Sosa, first Bowman yellow... He looks like he's super young in that, by the way. Um, Jacoby Jones for the Pirates, yellow. Um, 
So anyway, like I said, it's cool to look at some of these stuff. Not as it came today. He still does. He still does. Okay. Um, so there's, these are pink tops, Chrome 2016. Like I said, I haven't opened up any of these, like these weird promo packs. I don't even know where they came from to tell you the truth. Did they hand them out at the stadium? I don't know. The people who I buy them from on eBay, uh, I don't ask them where they came from. But uh, anyway, that's super cool. Pink of John Lackey. Got a Byron Buxton. Ooh, look at that. A pink Kenta Maeda. Tops Chrome. Sweet. Anyway, I think I mentioned this. Um, so I've, I may have paid $20 or $30 for like all these promo packs, um, which is super cool. By the way, Adam, did you did you watch the... Um, the ending of that live stream I did yesterday where I pulled the uh, I pulled the Tatis autograph. I pulled the Tatis rookie card autograph out of a national baseball card day pack. And it was numbered out of like 150. It's insane. I was one of the best pulls in my entire life. I almost fell out of my chair. Um, so we have a David Wright. And Jose Barrios. Man, we're getting some good ones here. Barrios, rookie pink. And then a Strasburg for, I say my Nationals. Let's be honest. They're not my team. I don't own them. Can you imagine if I own the Nationals? Oh, I'd be rolling in money. I'd be rolling in cash. Anyway, so we have a Bowman Chrome promo pack. This is from a year that I definitely do not recognize off the top of my head. So you guys let me know what year. There's, a, there's also the one of one spacer. Also, let me know. Are you guys been opening a lot of Series 1? Um yeah, it's at, I think just, just like in case you don't want to watch like the full hour and a half, it's like the last, I think, five minutes of the video. Ooh, we got a first moment here of a guy I've never heard of. Okoye Dixon? I don't know. Let's see what year this is from. Man, this is from 2012. So I don't think he, I don't think he made it to the old show, Ruski. Um, if he did, there's a Martin Prado for the Braves. Anyway, it's cool to be opening uh, Living in a Mansion. Yeah, K, K Family Rips. That was... Okay, so I don't know if you guys have seen part of the video, but basically, I saw someone selling the full 50-pack box online, right? And I was like, okay, so let me look it up. I knew there was Alonzo's, and I knew there was Eloy's, and I knew that there was Vlad's, but I was really looking for a Tatis. I thought, maybe I can get some base cards, at least some bases, because... I saw someone selling a national baseball card day base of Tatis for 99 bucks. Um, so I bought it and I also saw autographs. And then I went through almost the entire 50 packs and didn't pull a single Tatis base. And then I did pull the autograph, but I thought, obviously the autograph is fantastic. And I'm super happy about it, but I'm trying to figure out, apparently there was another national baseball card day thing in um 2019 because obviously in 50 packs i would have pulled at least one of his base um but if you guys happen to have the answer to that mystery so this is a tops chrome these are orange and i just spoiled it but um these are from 2013 there's a strasburg an adam dunn and an andrew mccutcheon so i'm not familiar with these orange ones but they look really cool anyway k family rips i forgot you were still here i thought you left but you're still here. I'm so glad you're still here. Sometimes I gotta, I, I, I don't know. I'm opening packs and I'm talking. And I'm, anyway, it's a good time. At least a good time by me. I hope it's a good time by you as well. Like I said, there's going to be another break in about a week, probably like next Friday or Saturday. Um, but yeah, I told my wife, Brian Goodwin, um, I, these are from 2013 too. I told my wife I wouldn't do quite so many breaks because um, there's too much sorting and packing involved. So she wants me to only do them on the weekend. So, and I want to stay married because happy wife, happy wife, happy life. It's not just a saying, guys. It's a lifestyle. Anyway, uh, here's Bowman as well. We have uh, Rajai Raja Davis, a Michael Bourne, Bourdian, um, Jorge De La Rosa. And hello, that is the first Bowman of, man, it's a guy I've never heard of, Brett Jackson. Um, and it's from 2010. So if he had made it, if he had made it big, if he had made it big, I probably would have heard of him. Anyway, I, pu I purchased this. Here's something crazy. I paid $9.99 for these three packs, and all three of them have a Corey Seager rookie card on the top. So we were guaranteed three Corey Seager rookies, but let's see what else we get. Isn't that cool? 
I don't know why Corey Seager is so underrated in this hobby. It just doesn't make any sense to me. The dude won MVP in the World Series. And he I know that he plays on a team that's just like stacked, but he's a really good player. Anyway, so I do not mind having an extra three Corey Seager rookie cards, that's for sure. Plus, let's see what else we got. We have a Harper, a Kendrys Morales, a Jonathan Lucroy, and then Topps Bunt. I don't know. Does anyone do Topps Bunt? I um off the top of my head, I don't know. But anyway, it's a win because gotta go take care. Okay. Uh yeah. Let me send me an email if you haven't already. Let me see if you've sent it. And uh K family, obviously I'm gonna send you an email as well. But, uh, so anyway, okay, you're awesome as always. I'm sure the card mansion address has not changed in the last week and a half. Although I didn't mention this before publicly. Thanks again. Have a good day at work. I mean, I say a good day, but like don't let work eat you alive. I'll put it that way. A Rob Ref Snyder and a Chris Sale. I did mention this before when I was doing my breaks. Um, I don't bunt with two strikes. Hey, yo. So I always ask someone, if you've ever joined my breaks, I always ask you, is this still your address? And there's a very specific reason because some, one of the guys who entered one of the breaks, he actually did move between entering one break to another. And so if I hadn't have asked him, um, I would have been sending cards to his old address. Um, so I don't like ask, you know, for no reason. I mean, it is theoretically possible that you can, um, I don't bunt with two strikes. <laughs> By the way, K family, I know you've been working like crazy, but man, you're going to have like mail day videos for, uh, if you want to do them, I mean, you'll have like mail day videos for years. It seems like there's just so many cards that I've sent you. Um, also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I send even the base card, like I send the base cards. Too. It's not just like rookies and inserts and stuff. Although, let's be honest, it would really cut down on my sorting if uh, if I only sent. Wow, there's okay. Um, it would cut down on my sorting if I didn't send uh, anything but rookies and, and hits and stuff like that. Um, if you ever do, well, I don't know what you, I, I don't mean. I'm asking you like on a video, but like I don't know what you do for a living. But I hope that uh, things aren't too stressful for you. Um, are you are you planning on not doing videos anymore, or is it just life is too stressful right now in 2021? You don't have to answer me live on live on a live stream, by the way, if you don't want to. I don't mean to ask um, super personal questions. Look at that cool Ichiro, huh? Ichiro. By the way, when did Ichiro decide to go? There's a Steve Lomb Lombardozzi first Bowman for my Nationals. I do not recognize that name. When did Ichiro drop drop the uh, Suzuki? By the way. Um, I always, I always remembered him as just as Ichiro Suzuki, and then all of a sudden on the cards and stuff like that, he's just going by regular Ichiro. So these Bowman ones here haven't been super great, but you never know. Santana got a King Felix, so we got two first Bowmans, and we have a Thomas Neal and a Jose Iglesias. Oh, so we're getting Bowmans, um, family stuff. We'll be back doing stuff soon. Okay, just checking and making sure life is not. I'll tell you, I try not to talk about life too much, but man, 2021, I had high hopes. I was like, 2020 is going to be over. You know, we'll put this, this like madness behind us. And it, honestly, we're in early March and 2021 has felt a lot like 2020 to me. Um, I'm not going to try to bring anyone down on the hangout, on the, on the live stream or anything, but man, woo, cannot wait till uh, life gets back to normal. And a Nick. Cause, cause, cause it is, I don't know, can't pronounce that. A lot of first Bowman cards of um, people I've never heard of. So this is last pack, and then um, I think unless K Family Rips is interested in more teams, then maybe it. But I've been on for like two hours, so I mean, thank everyone for their support. I will, um, Jason Christian. I will send out the emails to the appropriate people about things and I will pack up all of their cards for them. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I know I seem like I'm speechless, but uh, thanks so much for, for joining me. I've been talking for two hours. I got a bunch of sorting to do. And then, like I said, you can expect your, to get an email from me on, on uh, Monday for sure that I'll, uh, that I'll say, hey, your cards are in the mail. And here's the mailing number. Although, K family, um, you're gonna hear from me because I gotta send you the uh, 
the invoice for the angels. So the $15, I didn't get it right down the price because I'm stupid. I should have written it down. Um, yeah, for the 15 bucks. Um, and then I will get your stuff packed up for you. And uh, so 15 bucks there and 10 for him. And then it was 20. Okay. I will get everything packed up for everyone. Have a great Saturday. Have a great Sunday too. Oh, by the way, if you have not entered tomorrow, yeah, ten dollars plus um, the five for the shipping, so fifteen total. Um, if you want, if you want to do the, um, oh, okay, you got it. Um, don't forget, I have my. I think it's the Luis Robert giveaway is tomorrow drawing, and then it's either two at Tagabaloa and then Joe Burrow, and then Illusions. But, like, I have giveaway uh, I have giveaway drawings running tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and I think Wednesday, like, just one after the other. They're all completely free to enter. Um, so, like, everyone who enters has the exact same odds of winning. Um, and uh, I have videos for each one of them. So if you want to enter the giveaways, fantastic. If you don't, then you don't. Uh, either way, have a great rest of your weekend, and, and take care. Okay, thanks.